Hi guys. <laughs> so today I actually picked an orange off a tree and I ate it. And I thought to myself, wow, I would be really good at surviving if I were on a deserted island. I, I would survive. And I thought to myself, gosh, what are some traits you'd want to see in someone if you were stuck on a deserted island with someone? Well, number one, I thought you, you definitely want survivability. You want someone who is going to strive to survive and find solutions, seek out solutions, right? Number two, hopefully uh, you get stuck with someone who is, you know, moderately entertaining because let's face it, it's gonna be you and them. And while you can't expect them to shoulder all the responsibility, you do need to bear responsibility and to entertain yourself, you kind of hope that maybe they could provide, I don't know, 45% of the inspiration for entertainment. I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, and thirdly, you know, hopefully you'd get someone that's physically fit. Because guys, there's going to be work involved. You're going to have to uh, climb trees, build forts. There's going to be mountains to scale. Perhaps a couple wild beasts that you'll have to, you know, fend off with your own bare hands. There's going to be work involved. So hopefully you got some people packing some heat in the biceps. Maybe can run a mile or two. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, I would like to humbly submit myself. Should you need someone to be stranded on a deserted island with? I tell pretty good jokes. Sometimes I screw up the punchline, but not that often. Um, and I, I am a survivor and I, I've got the pythons. I've got biceps. So I'm pretty sure I'd be good with you. So next time you go on a boat, just think, is there a shot that I'd get stranded on a desert, deserted island? If so, just ring me up. Give me a call. We'll see what we can do. All right. I'm here for you. Good talk.